How's everyone doing today? This is Daniel Hansen of Root Flute, and I have with me the Triton Shell Harp. People have been asking about this, so I want to tell you how it works and how it's made. Um, so basically, we have the Triton Shell here, and we have the antler coming out of it. On the back of the antler, there's this piece of metal that keeps the antler stable from bending from the tension of the strings. On the top, I have a tuner here, or I could clip it here. So I can then easily tune the instrument. These are Grover Mini uh, tuning heads. They're some of the best that you can get, and they work great keeping the nylon string fixed. I have a guitar strap here, so I can go hands-free. And I even have a wireless setup, which I'll show you in a minute. The harp is just running on these wireless transmitters. They're like $150. <laughs> And the pickup mounts directly on the bridge. Um, if you're a looping artist, there's all kinds of sounds you can get. I'll show you that in another video. Let's come in close here though so you can see the shell. I've been developing these since November, and it's been quite a journey, but I'm happy to say uh, it works. It's stable. Um, I've traveled twice internationally with this without any problems. So it's kind of like an Ngoni, except I like to play it this way. You can also flip it over and play it like an Ngoni, but what's different and special is the strings cross here. So. Um, any three notes I play will play a chord. So I can play chords by plucking three notes, or I can just strum three notes. But where the strings cross, all the strings are in a row. You can play it like a traditional harp, but be stroke, because the strings cross, the strings reverse. So here is now here. So if I want to go like, I can access both sides of the harp with one hand. I've handed this to many people, and on their very first try, they were just playing music with it right away in kind of a state of amazement because it's super easy to play.
you can also play it like an ngoni. without reverb or anything. The shell kind of makes its own um, natural reverb. So, so right now I'm playing in C-sharp minor. So the fundamental notes here and here. Um, sometimes I like to play in F-sharp sh F minor. And I can also tune these to pretty much anything. So if you have a special request, um, but to tune it to F sharp minor, I'm just going to drop the second note down a half step. So now I'm in a different key. My fundamental note is now going to be here. That's one of my songs that I have. That's a one, six, three, five chord progression. So you could literally look up any chord progressions, find the Roman numerals, and you can play songs with the harp with the chord progressions. <laughs> the flick this way with your fingernail or this way with your finger or with two fingers or with your fingernail this way if you play closer to the bridge it's kind of more pingy and if you play in the center it's more of a rounded tone You can have a variety of different sound options to pick from. And I'm literally just strumming chords by playing any three notes. It's that easy to play a chord progression. You just find the one of the scale. F sharp is the one here. One, six, three, five. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. The, for, for those of you who aren't familiar with this, that's how you find the Roman numerals. Um, but if you get a harp, I can give you a lesson and show you. But it's easy to find chord progressions and play them on the harp. You could also tune it to exotic scales um, or tune it especially to play with other people if you want. Like, So thank you very much for taking a look. And if I can create one of these for you, just let me know.